Breaking, Trump was up all night with attorneys, emerged with big charges for someone this morning, President Trump's unconventional way of doing business in Washington has raised a lot of eyebrows. His background in business is one that put him in a position with a whole lot of latitude. A businessman's job is to work the system in the smartest way possible to achieve the goal and to only bring in the lawyers if things go south and can't be handled with a handshake. President Trump's new job in the Oval Office is literally plagued by lawyers. Listening, analyzing, and in some cases, twisting for their own devices. President Trump's interactions with former FBI Director James Comey no doubt intended to be a let's get on the same page kind of event but considering that President Trump tends to be an off-the-cuff kind of guy and James Comey tends to be a by-the-book kind of guy, it's safe to say that they didn't see eye to eye on everything. This led to a less than productive working relationship and the eventual firing of Comey which of course caused all the lawyers who like to pick apart every single thing that the president does to sing with glee. They felt like this would be a great opportunity to pick him apart. However, when they called James Comey to speak under oath, all that they found was a whole lot of reading into body language and hoping that the left decided to assume was illegal activity. But as was said in the hearing, nobody ever got sent to jail for hoping somebody would do something. Because of the way these allegations of misconduct with James Comey have drug on and brought no actual proof of wrongdoing, the president has decided to do something about it. Via CNN, Washington, CNN, President Donald Trump's legal team, in the wake of damning testimony from James Comey, plans to file a complaint against the former FBI director with the Justice Department Inspector General and the Senate Judiciary Committee early next week, two sources with knowledge of the situation told CNN. The Justice Department, however, has limited jurisdiction over former employees. They can investigate but the remedy in the event of finding wrongdoing would be to make a note in Coney's file should he ever seek to be employed by the Justice Department again. As a businessman, Trump had a long history of threatening legal action. But the businessman turned president rarely followed through on those claims. The new complaint will focus on Comey's testimony that he gave a friend the content of memos about his conversations with Trump and asked the friend to then give that information to a reporter. Comey said Friday that he gave the friend later identified as Daniel Richman, a longtime Comey confidant and Columbia University professor the information after Trump tweeted that he may have tapes of his conversations with the fired FBI director. My judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. So I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter, Comey said Thursday. Trump's attorney, Mark Kasowitz, could file the complaints early next week, one source said. Republicans have looked to discredit Comey by calling him a leaker because of the way he disseminated the information about Trump. Comey said Thursday that the memos he wrote were unclassified. Disseminating unclassified information is generally not considered leaking and the president did not assert executive privilege over Comey's testimony. The president himself accused Comey of lying and leaking Friday on Twitter. Despite so many false statements and lies, total and complete vindication, and wow, Comey is a leaker. Trump tweeted Friday morning. The source said the fact that Comey decided to disseminate the information because of a tweet was gold for the lawyers looking to file a complaint against the former FBI director. While it may be somewhat uncharted territory for a suit like this to go forward, the president has been plagued by those who will do anything to make his presidency a failure. He's kind of like a warrior being held down by a dozen tiny men who want to keep him down, and at some point, he has to stand up and throw them off. If the media and the lawyers on the hill who want to pick him apart decided that they won't quit, he's going to have to hit them where it hurts, otherwise, they're keeping him from doing his job, and that's not okay. Source, CNN Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.